If you can find one of these trees, then you never have to buy laundry detergent ever again. What? Sounds crazy. Let's talk about it. This is Western Soapberry, and it is a tree that's native to North America. Here we are in Texas, they grow abundantly in a bunch of different places. And these berries are naturally high in saponins, which means you can use them as soap and it's really easy to do so. They've got a bunch of different uses. One of the most popular uses is for laundry detergent. So let me gather up some of these and we'll get to it. Got a whole bunch of them. Now let's get out of here. Now, before we make the laundry detergent, I did want to test one thing. I've heard that if you are out in the woods and you need to wash your hands and you come across these, you can just get your hands wet and then rub some berries in your hands and it'll lather up like soap and clean your skin. Let's give it a try. Oh, look, I have stumbled upon a babbling brook in the woods. Let me just grab some of these soap berries. I've got four in my hand. Just gonna rub them vigorously. Let me try getting them wetter. This isn't working so far. Maybe you need to crush them a little. They were very dry. You gotta crush them. Maybe that's the ticket. Just wait. Babbling. Brooke is babbling. I'll try this again. I'm losing them. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting some lathering. I think I just needed more berries. That was the issue. <gasps> it's working. It's working. Apparently you just gotta keep rubbing. <laughs> Look, that. There it is. You see it? You see it? All right, that's enough fooling around. Let's make some laundry detergent. Let me show you how. I'm gonna start off by adding about four cups of water to this little saucepan. And I'm gonna add about a dozen berries of the soap berry into here. And we're gonna bring this to a boil. And as it starts to boil, I'm just gonna kind of take a spoon and smash those soap berries up a little bit. And in total, you want it to be boiling or simmering for about 20 to 30 minutes. Let me see if I can get them with this potato masher. But yeah, I think this will work. It's only been a couple minutes, but I've started kind of mashing them up a little. And I'm starting to see the water change color. We want it to be a yellow color. And as soon as it starts to boil, I'm gonna lower the heat because I don't want it to froth over and spill over, make a mess. But I got those mashed up pretty good now. We got it at a nice rolling boil and I had to turn the flames down quick because it was getting kind of sudsy and foamy. So I'm gonna set a timer for about 15 minutes and then we will come back and check on this. It looks so cool. All right, we've had it boiling and simmering for 20 plus minutes. So we're gonna shut this off and let it cool down. I ran this through a strainer and now I've got about two cups of detergent, which I'm gonna put into this jar here. And then we're gonna add just a couple drops of lavender essential oil, just to give it a little bit different fragrance. Now there are a few little solids in there floating around, which you can get rid of if you wanna run this through a cheesecloth. I don't think this is gonna be a big deal though, so I'm just gonna leave it as is. A couple of things though you should know is that this detergent will not keep forever. It only keeps for a couple of weeks because this is an organic product. It doesn't have any preservatives in it. You can add some natural preservatives, something like grapefruit seed oil, or something like that to keep it a little bit longer, or you can just make a fresh batch every couple of weeks. I do wanna try washing my hands with this before I use it as a laundry soap, and I'm gonna do a load of laundry with it. So I'm gonna dip some of this out. Feels very gentle, not very sudsy. Smells good. My wife's trying it out. Okay, so it wasn't super sudsy for washing the hands. I don't know if you put more berries in it, if it would have more of that sudsy bubbly effect, but this is the recipe I found online. So I'm gonna do a load of laundry with it and see how it does. It says use about two to four tablespoons of this in a load of laundry. They are washed, they are dried. Let's give them a smell. Smells good doesn't really smell like anything. So 
I think it did a pretty good job. We'll try this out. See how it does. Okay, a few quick closing thoughts about the soapberry and laundry detergent and other things you can use it for. First of all, this laundry detergent is very gentle, so I think it's going to treat your clothes really well. It's also biodegradable if you are using some sort of where you're catching that gray water that comes out of the washing machine and using it in your garden or something like that totally safe for your plants. Now, since the soap berries only really come around in late fall and winter, if you are harvesting them and you want to keep them for a longer time, you can just put a big old bag of them in your freezer and you can keep them almost indefinitely and then just take some out anytime you want to make a new batch of detergent. And lastly, there are other things you can use the soap berries for. A lot of people will use it for either dish soap or shampoo, and you can look up recipes on how to make those as well. As for me, I actually did think it did a really good job with the clothes and left them smelling fresh and clean without any artificial scents on them. Will you try this out at your house? Is this something that interests you? Or have you done an alternate recipe or a different use for soap berries that I didn't mention in this video?